Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the day of the video. Darren. How's it going today? Today, I'm talking to you before I head off um, this morning. Um, I woke up this morning pretty tired, but it's okay because it's Friday, because it's Easter, it's friggin' bank holiday weekend, and I've got tomorrow off and Monday off, so happy days. But um, last night, after I said goodbye to you, I didn't really do much. I just uh, sorted out my video and whatnot. Um, but this morning, I had email from Microsoft um, saying that I have early access to the um, developer stuff from for the Raspberry Pi. So I've had to order a Raspberry Pi, haven't I? Which is my one singular expense this month, <laughs> other than um, like food. That is literally the one thing that I've bought is a Raspberry Pi 2. Uh, so that's going to be coming within like a week or so, I guess. Um, and I should be getting the developer pack for the Raspberry Pi before then. Oh, wet finger. I think I've just plastered as well. Just damped my nose. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's exciting. Um, it means that I'll be able to have early access into the um, setting up websites on a Raspberry Pi 2 on a Windows server using ASP.NET and the .NET Core, which is exciting. Um, the only problem is, what do I do with that Pi? Hmm? I've no idea what to do with it now, because I've now got two Raspberry Pis, and one of them will be used to run a Windows server. Is it worth running that as like a database, as a back, as like a remote database? Is it worth it? Or am I best off finding another purpose for it? Because why don't I just put the database on the other Pi? So, because then I don't have to rely on an internet connection or anything like that. I've, I've just, I've just got it. Well, obviously I'd have to. Have it. It's a server. So, it's, <laughs> if I've got an internet connection, then we've got bigger problems on our hands than being able to talk to the database. But you know what I mean. So I don't know what to do. What can I do with that pie now? I mean, there's a chance I could turn it into a, um, essentially a, a Chromecast. Uh, if me and Laura get a, a TV for our house, that for our flat that isn't a smart TV. But it's that's a possibility. But I don't know. I just don't know what to do with it. So I'm thinking, I'm trying to think. And I'm also thinking about my project, uh, end of year project. I should get some kind of email back um, saying, telling me about it. Um, so that's what I've been doing basically all night. I've been kind of like mulling over like how I do it, if it's possible, if it's too complicated, and all that stuff. But it's time to head to work. Um, Today at work, I think we've got like an impromptu planning meeting because we haven't really got much to do. Like everything's almost done. Um, I think there's a couple of things to do, but they seem to be more opsy things like setting up databases, um, which I don't know if we are allowed to do in the first place. I think we just raise tickets for other people to do. Um, so, to be honest with you, I don't know what I'm doing. But first off, at day, I know we've got planning at like half eleven, maybe half ten. Um, so maybe I'll pick some stuff up out of that. Hopefully, otherwise. I'm doing research <laughs> about um, starting projects and stuff. Tonight I've got tennis, uh, and but I may start doing some development stuff with my servers and set up like my version control solution areas um, so that I can throw myself into it over my long weekend. Right, let's roll. Hey, recording. Nailed it. Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? We're heading home. It's bloody Friday. Uh, it's Thursday, but I'm not going in tomorrow. And uh, Taking the plaster off my cup. I'm gonna put it back on before I go play tennis tonight. Because that's crazy. And I keep catching it, and it does hurt ever so slightly whenever I catch it. Um, but yeah, how's it going today, ladies and gentlemen? We are heading home after a nice fun day. Uh, the morning was spent relatively boring. Uh, not a lot happened in the morning, to be honest with you. We were working on some like some stuff. Um, what what did I do? I didn't do much at all in the morning, to be honest with you. I started using Visual Studio Code, which is uh, Visual, well, Microsoft's text editor, um, to replace Sublime. Um, testing it out, it's pretty good. It's, good, it's got, it is in, it is early release, uh, and you can tell there are a few rough edges, but otherwise it's nice. Uh, it doesn't have the same, obviously, like plugin support as Sublime does, which is. You can tell the difference between using it and Sublime, but I think it's I I prefer it to Sublime already. All it needs to do is just drag a couple of the extra plugins that Sublime had, and it connects in with Git quite well as well. Git servers it doesn't connect in with TFS though. That's annoying. If it did, that would be absolutely incredible. Um, but otherwise, after that, we then had a, a planning meeting where we discovered that me and Paul basically don't really have a lot to do, so we were helping Ben and. 
uh, Stephen work on um, some acceptance tests and automated tests in the background which was good fun um, it's actually really good getting back into that because I used to do that quite a bit for the aggregator and then never never really did it again um, since so it took me a while to spin back up again on it but got there in the end um, and yeah so I was implementing a couple of things they've got a lot of things to write tests for which is why me and um, Paul are jumping over onto it to basically like swarm it is what it's called um, we're swarming together in order to get this thing done because um, there's a lot of it and then we've got basically there's two teams working together right there's our team and then there's Hoover we're Dyson there someone else is Hoover um, but then there's also the architects who are kind of working with us we've got like two architects that work with us one that is kind of uh, he just he's good at like really old-fashioned VB stuff one of them um, and he's doing half of the mappings so he's calculating what the mappings are so that we implement them essentially and then the other architect he's just he's like a <laughs> he's just like a train and he'll just friggin change a load of stuff and break a load of things like lots of different things um, and like we were basically reeling from that in the afternoon I was helping Ben try and sort out some stuff because he basically just changed without telling anyone changed what was being inputted into the system and when we've got like literally a thousand plus tests saying when I input this I expect this that becomes a bit of an issue you know what I mean it becomes a bit of a oh oops um, this is this is kind of annoying so yeah we went through uh, in the afternoon sorting all that kind of stuff out I'm not in tomorrow neither is Paul um, but Ben is Ben is hopefully going to finish all of the refactoring around all of the new stuff um, with the new changes thanks to old uh, the train himself uh, just comes into station and knocks out everything on his way um, and while he's doing that on Friday me and Paul are in on Tuesday bank holiday Monday um, we're in on Tuesday uh, on our own so we don't have Ben or Stephen so we've been like preparing a couple of things that we can do without them basically so like we've got a bit of a a to-do list so I've got a to-do list of things to do if Ben doesn't get if Ben finishes what he needs to do otherwise he's gonna leave us like a, a couple of things to do which is good but otherwise that's been it uh, I got some feedback on my project that I want to do um, it's road service of course, yeah, I do apologize um, got some feedback on that and it's good feedback they say that it's probably one of those projects that starts off really big but actually isn't all that like it starts off sounding really ambitious but the like premise is a good premise and it's just a case of like putting it down and filtering it out um, I emailed the director of studies with that one he's happy to mentor me but he says it might be worth looking into these three different subjects to see if you can find a lecture in there because they may be better at helping me I didn't tell you what it was yesterday I left a clue in the comments saying that it had something to do with monkeys and unit testing so <laughs> do with that as you will try and figure out if you want to um, but yeah so that's good news uh, is the fact that um, he seems to think that it's going to be a good idea it just the way I described it was over complicated and I knew it was it's, it is going to be hard I'm glad that he said it was too hard as opposed to that's not enough let's put it that way <laughs> so um, yeah that's looking good um, although I've still got to find a lecturer that can help me put it down what are we breaking so heavy for up front eh eh for Rooney um but yeah, that's been my day, basically. Uh, not an awful lot has happened outside of those two things. Just getting feedback on that and then working on the... Well, not really working on much. Installing something and then working on the other thing in the afternoon. So yeah, happy days there. Um, so obviously, we're going into uh, a weekend now. A four-day weekend, which is good. It's going to be weird going back on Tuesday, like, uh, and getting up to speed with stuff after having missed four days and not being there for one of the you know what I mean someone else is working on it we then have a three day gap before we go back and look at what they've done which is something that we were doing four days ago 
so it's usually a slow day and I've got to reboot on my computer and stuff because I shut it down properly for the weekend because I'm a good boy and I like to save the environment um, but yeah tonight we are going we're heading home now uh, we're going to go we're in a bit of a rush well relatively saying that we've made bloody good headway actually it's like only 10 to 10 to 5 already and I'm here traffic's been pretty light which is why I've started recording to you like halfway home instead of um where I'm normally stuck in traffic. Uh, that's straight there. That. Beautiful. Um, but yeah, we're going tennis tonight. So we're going home. We're going to put on a... I did get a chilli out. Freeze, didn't I? If not, I have to microwave it. So it's not, no, no biggie. Um, flash this guy to go. No problem, mate. It's a bit of a hill, though. Bit of a hill. Don't want to rev it too much. Don't want to stall. Um, so yeah, because we're going to tennis tonight, we've got a couple of things we need to do quickly. We need to eat food quickly because the earlier I can eat and the earlier I can let it like settle down in my stomach. Whoa! This is where all the traffic is, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> the sooner I'll be, I'll be, the better I will be at tennis, so I won't be all bloated or what have you. Um, but then the rest of the day. I've also got some other stuff to do for uh, for Laura. Uh, I'm doing some admin stuff. I'm bringing her after tennis as well. Um, I'm going to be I'm looking over her like CV and personal letters, personal statements, uh, covering letters. That's the one. Um, I'm looking over her co covering letter and CV for her um, because she's about getting ready to fire off a couple of applications to some places so she can work in Bristol in a couple of months' time, which is crazy. It's crazy to think. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that. That's how we're rolling. That's how we're rocking and rolling. Um, so it's going to be quite busy when I get home. Hence why I haven't stopped talking and I've just been constantly just blabbering words into your eyeball. Um, but yeah, that's basically it all to me. Fast turnaround and we're away. Um, I'm actually running a little bit late, but I wasn't because I was busy. Um, I got in and I went through. Um, or CV and stuff, uh, I've realised that I'm much better at analysing a CV than I am cover letters. <laughs> cover letters are very wishy-washy, they're very like, some things work, some things don't, it's all a matter of opinion. CVs are a lot more solid, I think, <laughs> a lot easier to give advice on. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, but I also had my dinner and got ready uh, to roll, and we're in my bath hoodie because it's bloody freezing. <laughs> Which, to be fair, is alright, because last week it was, like, way too hot. Um, well, it wasn't way too hot, but it was really warm. Um, so it might not be as, like, re you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm also wearing my new black polo shirt, um, which I got, so I didn't have to wear my green one all the time. And I've, subsequent I've subsequently realised that I'm wearing white shorts, black polo shirt, and white and black shoes. So, I'm a bit colour coordinated, really. I got a white handle on my racket. So, bloody hell, it's bright. It's hurt my eyes, man. Jesus Christ. There was a guy then who had put his wheelie bins, like, where he parks his car. I'm assuming to, like, reserve the spot, right? But, what he then did was drive up to the spot, park in the middle of the road, block everyone on the road, while he slowly removed his bins, got back in and parked. You frickin' selfish guy. God damn. That would drive me mad. I would just lean on the horn. <sighs> what an arse. Anyway, uh, yeah, heading to tennis now. Um, Laura was like, God, you went through my stuff so quick. And I'm like, well, I'm going to tennis for a bit. Your time is more precious than mine. So if I can do what I need to do to make you be able to do your stuff, like, whenever you want, essentially. Because otherwise I'd be like, I'd get home at nine, and then I'd look at it. <laughs> And it would just be a nightmare, you know? So, um, they'd be like, well, when do I actually get time to look at this? I don't get time, you know? I'm just saying words now. Yeah, um, like if I didn't do it at nine, then <laughs> if I didn't do it before, I'd, I'd have like had to do it and then email it, then ring her, all like super quick. Whereas if I do it now, before I go to tennis, really fast while I'm cooking stuff, you can like have a little play, I can think about it while I'm at tennis, and we can come back and we can have a proper productive, that's what I'm like now, project planning, time management, I know it makes more sense to do this at this position right now. God damn. Otherwise, part of me, like, um denied about going to tennis today, I was like, oh, should I go? 
It's just, yes, keep going. <laughs> it was like when I went swimming, I was like, oh, should I go swimming? Yes, you've got to keep going at these things, Jeremy. Otherwise, you'll just quit and you'll become a fat slob and that'll be the end of that. Get my wear and tear out on my shiny white shoes as well, mate. It's a lot quieter today than it was last week. Probably because it's a lot colder as well. <laughs> so that's good. Um, it's always better when it's smaller, isn't it? Mm. And heading back. Um, was good. <laughs> it was good. It wasn't as tiring as uh, last time. Mainly because I think like it was a lot hotter last time. And also there was a lot more people who went last time. So that we didn't really do like uh, a thing where the coach like serves you up and sets you up for stuff and things. Like um, we didn't do... Like the first time we went we just kind of did like... Uh, what's it called? Rallying to each other and stuff like that. And then get like more and more competitive as the, the point goes on or whatever. And then we did like a crazy championship point thing. But this time we went through um, some, what did we do? Went through, flipping heck, Jesus, someone, we're having to go with a bit of old smoke around here, have we? We was going through volleys, which is uh, one of my worst thing, I'm terrible at volleys. Like, I'm only really, really good at one thing in tennis, uh, and that's long, powerful base, from the baseline, belt is that's what i'm good at <laughs> and i never really learned anything else and like i think it's a case of you just keep going and try and keep practicing doing volleys or what have you uh volleys and all that kind of stuff but it, you just need to just go and go and go and go and practice and practice and practice and yeah i think i need to go and play more often like play games with people i guess instead of uh going on sessions like that but yeah, it was good fun because it was volleying. It wasn't as much of a workout as last time. So hopefully my bum won't hurt tomorrow. <laughs> Silver linings. Um, but yeah, I've always been I've, I've a very specialist tennis player. Very good at the back, not very good at the front. I just kind of flail around a bit. I feel like I'm a bit too lanky. Like I don't fit at the front. <laughs> so like you come to the front and then you step into the ball. Well, yeah, but I'm already at the front. If I step into the ball and put my arm forward, I'm over. The, I'm on the other side of the court here. <laughs> Am I too close? No, no. Well, I'm too long then. My arms are too long. I need to be stood further back. It just doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not not very good at the old volleys. Kind of orky porky, putting a pie. Um, but I'm quite. I am, like I say, quite good at the other stuff. <sighs> I need to find a sparring partner that I can go with semi semi regularly. <sighs> Lewis is the obvious candidate for that, but I don't know. I don't know if we can sync up days or if he wants to. Cause it, <laughs> we're friends in the loosest sense of the word. <laughs> we're acquaintances that work together and have quite aggressive banter. That's an unfair, uh, unfair. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean, Louis? If you're watching, never you are watching. Um, but yeah, we're, I don't know. I don't know if you'd want to go play tennis with me. Hello. Here was a little white putty cat that went disappearing. Um, but yeah, it was good fun. As per. As per usual, um, I was going to empty my bins out today. Mister, Mister trick there. But yeah, we're going to Bath to play tennis, or well, Bath or Bristol, depending on the sunshine, to play some tennis on Monday, because we're obviously all off a bank holiday. So we're going to play some games then. See how we, see how we go. Um, but yeah, the um, what's going on now? I'm going to go home. I'm going to have a shower, um, and then. I'm going to get on blower with Laura. I reckon as well might have a hot chocolate and cream to reward myself. Which is fine because I, I don't do it to keep fit. But um, yeah, I'm definitely going to... Definitely, 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 definitely going to um, have a shower. Maybe a nice strong cup of tea. Uh, I'm going to go through application stuff with, with Laura. Because she's found a job that she likes. So we've got to try and make it a good one. A good application, even though it will be a first, like, solid attempt. <sighs> Trick is, don't fall in love with something, innit? <laughs> don't fall in love with the idea of going somewhere. It might not work out. But we'll see. Fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, short story. I love, t I like tennis. It's good fun. I like it a lot. Uh, although doing volleys, that's how... That's why my <laughs> you hear the creak of my racket. Like, that handle is going to snap one day one day soon well depend on how often i play but one day that handle will snap uh, you know how i bought three new grips i can almost guarantee that um 
I will need a new racket before I need new grip because it does creep quite a bit when you're doing the old chopper grip and the old uh, one and the older two. You know, when you give them the old uh, fucking A and fucking B, it takes, a, it takes its toll on a racket when you're this friggin' strong as I am, you know. When you've got like lead arms like me, I'm built like a brick. You can, whew, a racket can barely take it, you know. They don't make them out of material strong enough to contain these beasts.